Hey yo, this is Big Country with Big Country Survival. Just a little thing for you guys. Anyone who can tell me this is homemade, but anyone who can tell me what it is, uh, there's no prize, but yeah, just let me know. What is it? I know. I made it. Okay, so yeah, I'm actually just finishing up building a couple of brackets. Um, got the dog in with me. She's running amok in the shop. Don't worry. She knows not to be looking at the welding light. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Um, making the first step. What is the first step? I, I've been asked that a few times. Like, well, what is the first step in preparedness? I mean, is it a year's worth of food? Is it a AR-15, whatever. I mean, what 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 is the first step? I would suggest, I would say, it doesn't matter what the first step is. Um, it really, I, I don't think it matters. What is the first step? Um, you know, it, it's irrelevant. The point is that you make that step. You make the first step then you make the next step and the next step and the next step right that's the important thing uh, for preparedness um, and the big thing is don't overwhelm yourself I mean okay let's say your first step like I don't think it matters what first step you take if that first step is going out and buying a Remington 1022 and a couple boxes of 22 a couple box of ammo okay if that's your first step great is it going and buying you know a couple of bags of rice that's a good first step I mean even if it is something as simple as washing a couple of two liter bottles filling them with water and stashing them under the sink. It doesn't matter. That that's your first step. That's what what is your first step? You got to take that first step. And you got to take your second step. You just got to keep stepping, keep keep moving on, walking towards the goal. You know, it it, you got to keep going towards the goal, and the ultimate goal is preparedness. And it is not too late for you to prep. It is not. It is not too late, guys. Don't let anyone tell you it's too late, because it ain't too late until it's too late. And right now, it ain't too late. And I always look at it, and I've always looked at it. Because I, I try and make everything that I do, every, every day, I try and do something for preparedness. Um, you know, be it something in my head, you know, mental, playing mental games with me, trying to figure stuff out. Is it, you know, working on something, acquiring a skill, practicing a skill, building something, buying something, it doesn't matter. I try and do something, one thing, every day that will lead me towards preparedness. And the way I see it is if SHTF happens right now, right now, screen goes blank, SHTF hits, I'm better off than I was yesterday. I'm better off than I was a week ago. I'm just, I'm better off. Because, let's face it, there's a lot of things, even those of us that have been in preparedness for a long time people that have been in it longer than I've been alive right there's always something more we want to do 
It's always something more that, you know, we want to learn, that we want to get. We always want to improve. We're constantly working, gears turning, trying to improve our situation. And let's face it, none of us are ever going to be truly ready until it happens. We're not. I mean, there is no magic bullet or, you know, magic thing where <sighs> I can take anything. All we can do is take it one day at a time and move forward. And whatever we've done to prepare today puts us in a better situation if SHTF happens tomorrow. So don't panic and say, oh, I need to buy a year's worth of food right now and then go into debt. Like, don't do that. Take it one day at a time. Build up your stockpile. You know, get a week's worth of food. Work on that first. Get another week. Get another week. One after the other. Just keep going, going, going. Right? And then you get that... You, You'll get that year's worth of food in no time. I mean, it doesn't matter what your first step is. Just take that first step. And take the second step. Just keep going. Keep pushing forward. You can do this, guys. You can do this. I know this is my happy face, right? This is my this is my motivational speech for all you guys. I hear it a lot of negativity. Um, going out in the preparedness community um, and people saying, well, you're going to die if you don't do this or if you don't do that. Um, and that's bull. That is absolute bull. Because all that pre preparations could be gone. What you got to do, all their preparations could be gone tomorrow. Fire, come, everything gone. Nothing. They have nothing. It could happen. It could happen to me. Um, you know, it could happen to anybody, really. Um, so, don't listen to them. What you do is you figure out what you can do on your budget. Skills? Skills are cheap. Skills are plentiful online that you can read. You can go out and try them. Right? You can go out and practice these skills. Um, it, it doesn't take a lot of money, most of them. I mean, you can go out there and practice bushcraft with a freaking kitchen knife. I mean, you can go out there and do some true bushcraft and go find a rock. I mean, you could if you wanted to go find a rock and make it into something. I mean, that's true bushcraft, like the Indians would do or the other tribes, tribal societies would have done. All right. So, if you take nothing else away from this, it's don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Me, I talk about this stuff all the time. I live it, eat, sleep, and breathe it. I love preparedness. It's, it's like this whole community, this way of life. It is what I am. It's it's my hobby. It is what I do. Um, I really, I don't do anything other than work, church, and prep. That's it. That's That's my life. And I enjoy it. But I know a lot of people aren't like that. They don't really enjoy it. They do it because they feel a need to. So, if you're one of those people that doesn't eat, sleep, and breathe it, <clears throat> take it a step at a time. Do something once every day. Something. And if it's a mind game, if it's doing something mental, if it is doing push-ups, you do something to prepare yourself. It doesn't matter what it is. Do something. Because we don't know what we're going to need. We don't know the situation that is going to present itself. We don't know. We just don't know. That gum wasp. Been running around here. You'd think you would have died from all the smoke. 
Uh, but anyway, you don't know. I don't know. Those people out there, they don't know. So just take it one day at a time. One step at a time. And I know I'm saying this a lot, guys. I know I just keep saying this thing over and over again, but it's really, really important. Because um, you can do it. I can do it. You can do it. You know, Mrs. Fansler down the road, she can do it. Um, I don't actually know a Mrs. Fansler down the road, but you get what I'm saying. Mrs. Fansler, little old Mrs. Fansler in her 70s, you know, she can, she can prep. That's all I'm trying to say, is anybody can do it, and it doesn't matter what the first step is, just so long as you take it. If you guys would like to uh, see any more content like this, um, you know, hear any more like this, please leave a comment. Like the video. You know, leave a comment. Let me know. Hey, I want to I wanna see more stuff like this. Or, hey, no, I don't want to see more stuff like this. I want to see more of whatever. Okay? Because, I mean, I'm putting this stuff out for you guys. Um, you know, all six of you. You're great. Um, I mean, I'm putting this stuff out for you guys. And I don't want to put out content you don't want to see. I mean, you know, I might from time to time just indulge. But just indulge me on that. Um, but, uh, you know, give me a like. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know, you might learn something, might get you to thinking. Um, so, for now, this is Big Country with Big Country Survival, signing out. God bless.